So in this video today, we are going to take a look at a sharp 32 inch TV and look at how to diagnose if you have bad lamps or a bad power supply. If you have any questions about your TV repair, please leave a comment below the video with your TV brand, model number, and the symptoms your TV is showing. You can see the LED flashing on the main board as it starts to boot up. The backlights come up and then they go out again. So right now we have the blinking green lights. So I'm going to reset the TV. I will reset the TV by holding down the power button and if you hold it down for a few seconds it is going to go red. The next step is to hit the power button once and then it goes to orange. Then you can press and hold it and the TV turns off. Sometimes you will find when you replace a main board or a power supply that you may need to reset the TV. You have to go through that sequence and then when you power it back on again it will run normally. So now we can go ahead and power on the TV and we have a green light which is what you would normally expect to see. We are going to see the backlights come up briefly and then shut off. There we go, the backlights just went out and then it will start to flash our error code which is the blinking green light. The next step is we will play with the power supply and see if we actually have bad lamps. So we have gone ahead and pulled the power supply out of the TV. On this power supply we are looking for one specific component. It is main IC, IC 7501. Just over to the left from there is a little capacitor C7558 which is the one we are interested in. What we want to do is just add a bit of solder across the top of this to act like a jumper. And this is going to remove the error detection for the TV. So if there is a problem and it detects that the lamp is not firing correctly, it is going to allow it to stay on because we are shorting the error detection line out. We are going to take our iron and get a little bit of solder on it. And since this is so small, you will want to do this quickly. Otherwise you risk moving the entire cap. There we go, that looks good. So now that we have jumpered that out, we can go ahead and put the power supply back in the TV. We have put the power supply back in, and we can go ahead and turn the TV back on. There we go, we can see that the TV has turned on and it has stayed up. So that shows us that the power supply is good, and the problem is most likely going to be with the backlights. So this error code could be caused by a lamp being out, which would show up as a dark band across the screen. Otherwise it could be a lamp that is starting to fail that is causing this error code and may still be lit up, but it may be causing enough of a problem in the power supply to cause it to shut off. If the lamps are defective, it is possible to replace them, but it is a pretty involved task, and it does require taking apart the panel and getting replacement lamps. This is doable, but it is more advanced repair. If the problem appears to be the power supply, then replace the power supply and that should get you up and running. In order to get the error detection working again for your TV, you will want to remove the jumper and that little bit of solder that you added. If jumpering the protection out does allow the TV to stay on, in theory you could run it like this, but remember you just removed a protective part of your TV. It could cause other problems and at that point, will not force the TV to shut off if there is an error. Do so at your own risk and this is not recommended. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings, and don't forget to hit that like button.